Okay, we have another one. A little neighbor of the last one. This is happening in real time. Devitalization of a living blepharisma. Happening in kind of slow motion. It's being hit with two frequencies. 931 hertz plus its 11th harmonic which is 10,241 hertz and these are both amplitude modulated onto a radio frequency carrier wave of approximately 27 megahertz. This is happening on September 28, 2007. We are getting an excellent devitalization of this organism. You're seeing the typical formations of spheroids. And this is fascinating. It's a sort of slow motion disintegration emptying its contents out under the slide and now it becomes a little more dramatic there. It's going to completely dissolve, I think. Again, this is 931 hertz plus its 11th harmonic, which is 10,241 hertz, plus a 27 megahertz pulsed radio frequency carrier. And we see some further development, some changes, interesting changes, with the remnants of the organism. Let's take a quick close-up, take a chance to see if we can see anything. There does seem to be some kind of activity there. The scale is a little bit different. Let's see if I can get this. There's the proper scale. And we do see some continued activity in the remaining sphere. Here's another slow motion disintegration. This is the 10x objective. Oh, we caught it just in time. The action is happening. 927 hertz plus 10,164 hertz plus a 27 megahertz pulse radio frequency carrier. This is a rife bear plasma experiment. And today is Wednesday, October 3rd, 2007. And we are seeing a classic disintegration here of a blepharisma. 100, and 100 watts exactly, and the SWR is about 1.15 on the MFJ antenna tuner. And we have some beautiful video of this organism. We've seen organisms break up before with this combination of frequencies, 927 hertz and 10,164 hertz. And now you see an interesting, some kind of flow. <laughs> That's my alarm warning me not to overheat the amplifier. Okay, we have one in real time. I can get it. There it is. Can you see that? Real time. And that's a new frequency and quite low 
462 hertz. That is an octave lower than any frequency ever seen. It's an octave lower than 924. So that's the first time we've ever seen that low of a frequency actually cause the effect. That is very interesting actually. Okay, we have a victim. Live devitalization of a blepharisma. This is a new frequency. 915 hertz. I decided to explore a little bit lower frequencies below the standard 924 and so on. 915 hertz plus 10,164 hertz. Okay, we have somebody here. Real time. There he is. And this is the first official full disintegration with three frequencies. The three frequencies are 928 hertz, 10,164 hertz, and 13,860. The two higher frequencies are the 11th and 15th harmonic of 924. 924 being a sort of base uh, frequency. This is interesting. We may be seeing more spheres here than we normally see. So that's a three frequency disintegration on Wednesday, October 3rd, 2007, and the frequencies were 928 hertz, 10,164 hertz, and 13,860. And you can see some further changes happening to the larger sphere on the right. And those three frequencies are at 100 watts, SWR 1.15, and of course, it's also being uh, carried with a uh, 27 megahertz pulsed radio frequency into the plasma light, the helium phenotron tube. Oh, we're catching the end of this one. Can you see that? Gee, got very extended over over distended and then finally disintegrated. This is kind of an old fashioned uh, destruction before I began adding the second frequencies. It's a combination of the two actually. We get this large sort of potato shape and, uh, and now this time the potato shape has uh, exploded. So that's the first. That's a triple frequency. There's another one. This is real time. Two frequencies. It's a large one. This is interesting. Maybe dropping down to that lower frequency. This is 462 hertz plus 10,164. 462 hertz is, uh, doggone it, the computer went to sleep, sorry. 462 hertz, yeah, it continues, is uh, an octave below 924, which is the known sensitive uh, primary frequency for blepharisma. And a total disintegration at 924. Pretty interesting. There's another one dissolving live using 462 hertz, but I think it's really more a case of just the uh, overall stress. He was so distorted and out of shape that the uh, outer membrane probably finally uh, gave out. This looks different than uh, 
Well, I don't know. A lot of spheres are being formed. Maybe it's the same effect. It's hard to tell, actually. Real time. Real time devitalization of blepharisma. This is happening October 7th, 2007. Kind of slow devitalization here. Let's watch it carefully. The frequencies are 932 hertz plus 10,252 hertz. That's my warning bell that I need to let my amplifier cool off. We'll just ignore that because we're getting some good video footage. I don't like to let the amplifier get too hot. It seems to lessen the effects. And we have a fabulous explosion. October 7th, 2007. Blepharisma devitalization. 100 watts, 1.15 SWR. 932 hertz plus its 11th harmonic which is 10,252 hertz. And here's a nearby organism who's continuing some kind of action. Further disintegration. and out the second end as well. There's one right there. He's emptying out right now. A little too much damage during the experiment and the cell wall finally gave out. So we ran about a half a dozen different frequencies tonight. It was a short experiment and still we have very dramatic results to view. Following this I think some control experiments are in order and we will be designing those shortly. Classic devitalization. Classic devitalization of a blepharisma live, October 7th, 2007, most likely caused by a plasma experiment. 932 hertz plus 10,252 hertz amplitude modulating a radio frequency carrier of about 27 megahertz. And this organism is obviously destroyed and if this were a pathogenic organism we would be healing somebody who was ill. Live destruction of a blepharisma. 
following treatment by a plasma light. There's one. Devitalizing in real time. Emptying his contents out in the slide. Sorry, computer fell asleep. He has several uh, neighbors actually who are in pretty bad shape. Wouldn't surprise me if they didn't burst open. There he goes. That guy is not much left for that one. That was 932 hertz plus 10,252 hertz, which is the 11th harmonic of that. 100 watts, SWR 1.15. Here's one in real time. Reeling from the effects of the plasma light, actually exploding right now. Just adjust the camera here a little bit. There we go. Total disintegration. This is the end of a disintegration of an organism. You can still see some cilia here. And it's broken into many small spheres. And nearby are, excuse me, nearby are several organisms which are very badly misshapen. Let's see if I can find a few here. There's one. He does have some cilia motion, but he's really lost his shape. Here's another one who's continuing to disintegrate. Let me try to focus that for you. Oh, I can't focus it fast enough. There he is. Happened too fast. 